Acme of Your Home and You is, is my presentation. It's all about the magic that's within your home and you. It's what we can create within ourselves when we connect to our homes and the land and the space. And um, as you can see here, I'm going to be talking about the energy centers, the chakras. The chakras are very important within our own bodies, within the world, as you can see here, within our homes, within the land. And what you can see here is the energy centers of the world. Now, when we look at the root being in Mount Shasta, that makes complete sense because you've got the mountain energy. You've got that complete earthing, feeling at one with the earth. When you come to the sacral with Lake Titicaca in South America, and these are all places I've visited, and not by accident, I don't think. Um, so Lake Titicaca, it was like a magical place because they believed that the ships had come, you know, up through the lake from the oceans. Big ships would appear in that lake from nowhere. Um, the solar plexus in Uluru, Australia, another place where, where, where I visited, not by accident, I don't think either. So, and there I was seeing heart shapes on the, on the mountain itself, you know, on, on the actual Uluru and on the rocks. And it's such a beautiful, grounded place, and the colors that vibrate. I mean, when you think about the colors of the solar plexus, you know, the yellows, the oranges, the reds that glow out. Now, you've got the throat, the Great Pyramids. Now, when you think about the Great Pyramids, we've all been told to think about all oh, the pyramids have, gone, uh, have been put there, place of rest, place of rest for all that is and that um, everybody that, like the kings that were buried there, like uh, Tutankhamun and all those uh, great people, they were all, were all buried with the people that they acknowledged worked for them, so that they could also go to the heavens with them. Now, when you think about the throat, it's about having the speaking. They spoke about what they wanted to know. So again, it makes sense that it was with the pyramids. Now, the pyramids are also coming up all around the world. So where you think these pyramids are, could that also be the throat consciousness of that particular country? So you've got to think about these things. You've got the heart, which is in Glastonbury. Now, when we think about our heart energy, it's where our home is. And when you think that this is the heart of the world. So when the heart of the world is upset, and a lot of the heart energy has been upset this, this particular year. We've been unconsciously not being in ourselves. So our own heart consciousness is feeling lost and alone. So you've got to think about where your heart is at this current time. You know, sit with your heart. Be conscious of where you belong. Be conscious of the country that you belong to, the town that you live in, the home that you live in. When you become more conscious and more aware of that heart energy, then you can become more happy within yourself, have more well-being and presence. Now, the third eye, the brow, the peak district. Now, I stumbled across this on my travels, as usual, because I wondered where the brow was. For a long time, people have said that it was in Glastonbury or around that area. I went up to the peaks, and that's where, where the brow energy is. It's where our interconnectivity is, our soul consciousness. It's where the new beginnings are, and then awakenings. When you look at what has consciously been happening within our country in the UK at the moment, and spreading globally, we've got to look at where that energy lies, and it's with the brow chakra. So the brow chakra of the world is there. It's very, very important. It's that awakening moment that period nine energy that's coming in. Now, we also have the crown in Tibet. Now, the crown energy is all about pure bliss. So it makes sense that it's in Tibet. You know, we think of, of the monks, the people in Tibet, and how they are blissful in their way of life. They are all that is. They have the being, they have the knowledge to know within them that they are safe, they feel happy, they feel blissful. If there is fear within that crown chakra, there is usually something fearful that is going on around. There is trauma. And there has been trauma in Tibet. 
So you can imagine what they were feeling at that time when they'd been living that blissful life and all of a sudden they're faced with trauma and to bring their energy back again. So looking at our own homes, which we will do in, in a minute, you've got to think about the crown is about bliss. And if there's any trauma within our home, if there's any trauma or spirit energies in our home, that can cause the fear.